the snowmobile that I would like to put on this trailer, it should fit according to my tape measure, but not with much room to spare. The center of the ski would be approximately in the center of this piece of angle here. So then, there's not much room. So what I would like to do is build a guide for the skis. So if the snowmobile is going up the ramp and uh, I'm not driving it quite straight, rather than having a direct contact with this piece here, I'd like to build kind of a guide that would just kind of angle it onto the trailer. thinking something like this. So I'm trying to do this in such a way that it minimizes the rattle on the ramp as the trailer is in transport. I think this side is going to be reasonably okay. So I've got two holes I want to weld shut, one here, one on the other side. So on this side, same idea about uh, welding some holes shut. And on this side I'd also like to lower the, uh, the holes here. So I've got it, so this side I think is going to rattle a little bit more. So if I could lower this hole on both sides, that would put a little more pressure on the ramp and hold it down a little bit tighter. The unwanted holes are welded shut now. 
On this side, the hole that I do want to use, what I've done here is uh, weld the top part of the hole somewhat and uh, not on the bottom with the idea of lowering the hole which would then if, if, if I get that pin to fit through there nice again then the idea is that the uh, the, the pin would would force the uh, ramp a little bit lower because of the uh, hole position here so when I try and reshape this hole I'll try not to remove too much of this weld on the top and uh, I do want to smooth it off though like so that it's flush with the rest of it and same thing with uh, the other welds where the uh, holes were welded shut. So it does have some downward force on the ramp. How much it's been improved from before, I'm not sure, maybe none at all. But I think that's about as far as I want to go for now, as far as the anti-rattle plan goes.